lot of you ask me, hey bro, what is the best ROM if I want to have the Google Pixel experience? And, and I don't know why, but it's always Indians that ask me this. But I have been saying for a while that, that, that the stock MIUI launcher is getting really, really close to what the stock Android is. And like this whole experience is getting really, really similar. So here we have a Google Pixel 2 XL on Android 10. On the right, we have a Poco F2 Pro running Xiaomi EU. Round one, ready, go. Basically my device is set up exactly how it almost is. Bring, your, bring yours a little closer to camera for me, perfect. Okay, so this is the home screen. Now outside of like the, the layout, right? Uh, swipe to the left. Okay, we both have the Google feed. Yours is off because of, we, here I should turn off my airplane mode also here. Uh, that brings us to the swipe down menu. So let's go ahead, let's swipe down. Show me the settings that you can swipe down. Okay, now on, on, on one swipe down for it, MIUI we have more settings that we can go through. And then I have all of these. Nice. Okay. But then my notifications are on, on a left swipe. So that's a difference. Another one. Okay, back to the home screen. Uh, we both have gestures. He has his gestures turned off. Okay, now let's go look at the app drawer. So that would be a swipe up. We both have suggested apps. Oops, don't wanna go on Tinder right now. We both have suggested apps on the top row, right? So these are all the suggested apps. Everything else is alphabetical. So the same, right? You have a global Google search at the top. I have an application specific search, okay? I also have specific categories, which you don't have. All right. I can turn on app categories as I want to though, and add app categories as I want to. Can you do that? No. Okay. So we have more, and if I want to turn off my app categories, now this is just like the Google Pixel, mm -hmm. okay? So can we can agree, same user experience. Yeah, so far, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go into the text messages, okay? This is the this is the Xiaomi MIUI text messaging app. Let me see your text messages. That's the Google text messaging app. I can get that application if I want to use the Google one as well. I mean, it is more colorful. <laughs> but but again, user experience for them. It's it's, no no I I can get that application. Right. So it is the same, and sure. I and I can disable the Xiaomi one if I want to. Okay. So. Same user experience. Yeah. Now, the Chinese-based uh, dialer app will allow me to record phone calls. Okay, your version won't because it, that's a violation. Well, yeah, that sounds very risky. Yeah. I am the one, the way you're trying yeah. But in China, they don't care about that. So, hmm. but what are some? Do you have any other features on the Google Pixel Two? Features <laughs> as far as. For the like, phone? For the phone application, aren't, don't you have the ability to do like call screening or is that only with the newer Pixel models? I don't think there's anything really that you can do. Call history, missed calls, no, I don't really have anything that's particularly okay. advanced on this. Okay. Favorites, contacts. And that's so, but, and I know that for like the live transcription thing, that some of that is market specific. Yes, and that is definitely for the newer ones. Okay, so phone application, we're talking pretty similar. Okay, uh, what would another area, okay, let's look at settings. Just go into the general settings for the device. Okay, so uh, what uh, network and wireless on MIUI, it's broken up into subcategories of SIM, WLAN, Bluetooth. For you, it's all one, right? Right. Okay. Uh, connected, which would be like connections and sharing, Bluetooth and NFC. Oh, so it is still broken up kind of. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Okay. Uh, next one for you would be notifications. Okay, go to your notification options. Apps and notifications, yep. see it's. 
Okay, so I guess I have to go into all ten apps. If you want to see individual uh, apps, you go to all ten apps and then. So can you change what applications show up on your lock screen? Somewhere I do I do recall that, but I don't think it was in here. Like if I have a girlfriend and I don't want Tinder notifications to show up on my lock screen, right? I can do that super <laughs> easily. Surprise, motherfucker! Not right. that I would. No, I mean it, the options there for those who would want to use right, that. Right, I understand. Right. I'm Jewish and Jewish men don't cheat. Really? <laughs> Bullshitting. <laughs> okay. So I think you can change what apps show up. Can you change whether or not you have the little notification badge? The dots? Yeah, yeah, like on your, when you like, if I have something in Telegram, it would show up as a dot. Can you do that? Yes, I think the dots are, yeah, that, that is something <coughs> I've seen recently. That so so you can, able. that's an option. Yes. Option. Okay, so let's go back out. Okay, uh, back out to like, like regular notifications. Uh, let's go to always on. Do you have an always on display feature? No, it just it just turns on the. Uh, it's just the uh, clock and date stamp. Are you sure about that? Time and date. And then stamp. like maybe some of your notifications. Right. Okay, so we have options for that in MIUI. You don't really have options for that. No. Okay. There's no changing the layout or the colors or the look. Okay. Uh, do you have support for themes? I don't think so. Do you have any notifications pending on your on your right now, so I can see how maybe your device no, handles I have them? No, I have all my notifications turned off. Here, turn turn turn. Turn the Wii feedback on. Yeah. Here, let, I'll, let's send each other. Let's send each other a Telegram notification, so I can see how you deal with it. Let me send you one first. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So stay out of Telegram. Okay. Oh, so you don't have a pop-up? Mm -mm. You don't have like a little floating window pop-up that shows you what it is? No. Really? Yeah. Okay, so you only get this notification. Right. Okay. Now your turn to send me one. Go send me a message in Telegram. Mitchell. Here, so then... With these, I can go ahead and then make that. Oh, that's lovely. This, that's is, a, this, lovely. this is a new feature from me, Y12. I can do this inside of uh, YouTube. So I can watch the YouTube video and then respond back. Oh, that's lovely. So is that a feature that you would like? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. How can I get that? <laughs> no, no, we're, oh. not. We're, not, we're not going that far. Okay, so send me another message so you can see this. So look. With the floating windows, you can do this. Now I know that on yours you can pull down and then right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you have to stop what you're doing. I mean, I can do that from I can do that from the lock screen. I can I can reply here. Send me another. Okay. I've had that option to reply. Okay, so, but, but that's normally replying in the notification shape. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like replying here. Yeah, I can reply from right here. It's. It's a little bit less convenient. It is. Okay. So yeah, I can reply from here. So, so here's, here's one for you to know. Okay. All of the apps, all of the messaging apps, support the uh, pop-up windows the same way Telegram does. So like WhatsApp. Okay. Zala, like I don't use Zala, but yeah. All of those have a smaller window where they open up. Uh, it's, 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 it's if it supports it yet, but all of them for the notification, you can respond to that message mm. in notification that way. You're trying to convince me to upgrade. I'm time. not, look, look, I know <laughs> I'm selling my Poco F2 Pro. I'm not, you, you wanted to buy my K20 Pro. I'm not trying to convince you. We're just, we're j people, people are under the assumption that somehow the Pixel experience is a better experience over me. Why? We're just comparing but, the, but there are certainly better features on, <coughs> or, or am I mistaken, are there not better features on the, say, the Pixel 4 or the Pixel 3? This is a Pixel 2 XL. We're, we're, talk, we're talking about the general UI. Okay. And that general UI is not going to be experienced differently between older and newer devices? You, you might have like some of those, like, like the on-device. 
but we're not talking about that. Okay. We're talking about people getting a custom, like we're talking about the pixel experience ROM okay. that people would sideload onto this device. Because people ask me what the best pixel ROM is. So you're not getting all of the other Google pixel functionality. You're just getting a, a ROM. Sure. Are there some other features that you like? Um, I mean, I was using Nova Launcher before, and I liked that I was able to customize it, but it was eating up too much of... What kind of customization? Changing the uh, shapes of the icons, changing, customizing the icons, the layout. You, that's all supported in MIUI. Oh. So you can change it. Is that why you have that nice squared shape? Yeah, actually, what, what, do, you think, what do you think of the aesthetic? It's 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 a little blocky for me, but I like it. I like the, you know I like it. I for it's nice and big. What I like is that's what I want because because I, I don't want like I don't I don't like to do that. It's the hunt and search, right? Exactly, exactly, big. exactly. I was gonna ask you if you made them that big just for moments like this when you could display them for camera. No, 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 no. I, it's because I'm getting old. Uh, here's another one. So here, let me show you. So I asked you about some of the features you like on stock Android, right? Yes. Let me show you some of the features that I really like on MIUI. Oh, One right. of them is the universal new font and font weight. So I can change the weight of the, of the fonts so that they're bolder and they take up more room. I can change the sizing. And then this is basically all places that display text. Okay. Okay. So like in my Instagram DMs, which I don't know if I want to have on camera, <laughs> uh, it changes the it, here this is okay it changes the size of my Instagram DMs get out of here yeah get out wow get out of here yeah it changes and, that, and then it changes it changes that in like almost all parts of the UI what yeah see this is the extent I have font size large display larger I mean that's that's all I get. No, so I can make the text thicker and easier to right. read and stuff I like that. I saw that. Like, yeah. And it I changes saw. that. And it, also, it changes it also in Instagram and uh, Facebook Messenger. Wow. Does the app have to support that? I don't think so. I mean, like, I know I've gone into Telegram, and Telegram allows you really fine control of it. But uh, another feature I really enjoy about me, why you saw the floating window, you saw the tabs. Mm, yes. I like the multitasking window, okay? First of all, it gives me the RAM left up here. Oh, hey, look at that. Right? But when I go to multitasking, I like that I can pick between four apps that I have open. I don't have to... Scroll like I, right. I do from left to right. But I can. Okay, or you can have all, oh. Those are both options. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I feel like this is a long pitch. This is, this is not <laughs> me trying to convince you to leave stock Android. I got Android 10 at the same time or before you did. You had a beta version of it and I had a beta version right. of it. You said that you had a lot of problems with it and mine ran pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Yeah. So from a non, if, if from a non super techno, techno nerd, I play PUBG in my mom's basement and my, like my phone constantly like smells of hot Cheetos and like Mountain Dew, like from, from a, a power yet casual user's perspective, it would, how, what kind of differences are there between these two user experiences and can you quantify how big of a difference it is? I'm looking at there being far more options for ease of use, especially with the floating windows for one, and then being able to customize it for specific fonts was a nice feature. And I would, I want that now. Like, okay. I, I, I want it. Okay. Uh, what about like the overall like animations and like the 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 look and feel of it? Because that's something a lot of people say is too cartoonish. I, for me, animations. I think I think it's fine. I think it looks fine when when, when you're scrolling through. It looks smooth. It looks you know. 
It looks playful, to be honest with you. To give it a descriptor, it looks playful, which I don't mind. So one of the things that they did to go to, to explain to you why maybe it has that look, they went in recently and they changed so that when you click on an icon, the animation comes out of that icon. Look at it. All right, here we go. Gotcha. Right? But then if it goes up to the top, look. It comes out from the top. Yeah. I mean... Those kind of details for, for, for a user such as myself, I'm not too hung up on the animations. I, I, I often turn them down oh. low so that yeah, I yeah, can, that, or you make them faster. That's what them, I do. Yeah, too. make them faster because I just want I, I want the, the app to open as quickly and get to my point of what I'm using the phone for. Okay, and so the reason that you bought the Pixel originally was. I bought the Pixel originally because I got tired of having to wait for. Uh, updates for one. I got tired of waiting for updates, and I did. I wanted everything to be clean and user friendly, and I wanted to be as close to the uh, Android design, whatever they were hoping the user experience would be. I wanted that. I didn't want any, any manufacturer putting a skin on it that would interfere with that user experience. Can, we can agree though that there, there's definitely a skin on this, right? Yeah. Does yeah. Is, is is the skin is the skin changing the experience that much from what it is? Stop. No, no. In fact, I, I find it to be an improvement. Okay, so you guys heard it for yourself. Stop asking me about Pixel Experience ROMs. They're not any that different from MIUI from the factory. We compared an actual Google Pixel to this. People that are talking about wanting this type of experience, this is not that different from what we have here. No. And this is a, a great demonstration of it. I know that the Pixel Experience ROMs are going to have more options for customizability, but with those options, you're gonna get some bugs. Because, because most of the time you're getting Pixel Experience Launcher on top of whatever the launcher is already, so it's adding an extra layer, right? So there it was, guys, a Pixel, 2XL running Android 10 versus MIUI 12. These are what the differences are. This is the differences in user experience for 95% mm. of users. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Peace.